ready. Well, honey went to the store really quick, but we're gonna get ready to go on our little date. Thanks to my mommy. She sent us um, $200 so we can have us a nice little dinner. But the place that I wanna go to is more like a um, brunch type of place or whatever. So uh, I've been literally waiting to go there for like ever and I don't know why we haven't went. We just haven't had time to. So I am going to go there and hopefully it's as good as I expect it to be. So, oh, I need to get myself together, y'all. When me and honey get ready and all that stuff or whatever, we're gonna be back with y'all. And then you'll see where we're going. Stay tuned. Ooh. Okay, y'all. We're gonna see y'all in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so annoying, right? I know. What you got the keys? Wow. And I did not get that. He's retarded, and I'm gonna start catching it. Watch. Watch. Right. Let's find the way. I'll be back. I don't like being lost. Really? We're on our way. We're walking. <laughs> We're walking. It's so cold. It's, it's so, so cold. cold. It's cold. No, it's really cold. It feels like, like cold. If I know this is ready. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's loud.
Sirius Amos Garrett's on Cabot that we're talking about. <laughs> At this point guys, I'm kind of getting bored, but I still want to try a couple of the desserts. <laughs> what about you, honey? No dessert. No dessert? Yeah, honey don't like sweet stuff, but I'm going to give them a taste like a bite or something. Yeah. Okay, for this guys, I'm gonna show you what it is. If you ever see this, it's good. It's just spicy. Yes. It's, a different taste. it's got a different taste to it, but it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's called vegetable this. And it's really good. Like it's extremely good. Moose King. Take your drink. They they let you take one to go. So he has this one. 
but he's gonna take one to go, and then you know to go. Yeah. So that's another plus. If you come, you can. Thank you, love. Thank you. They really, they give you to go. So if you spend, look, the little, the. What is it? Bottom, bottom, bottom list. Drinks, drinks yep. and mimosas is 21 per person. Yep. But realistically, I don't know how many I had when I was in there, and then you get to leave with one. So it's worth it, y'all. You go to the bar, you spend like $13, Kay. 14 15 like for a shot. I'm, sometimes you get 20 for a shot of like Hennessy or something like that. Yeah. I mean, but you like your, that's, that's four drinks at least. Yeah, you can have beer, wine, um, champagne, or mimosas. I like this wall. I chose mimosas. <laughs> I mean, not mimosa. We had a mimosa first. Right, right, right. Then he had beer, and then I had the um, champagne. So yeah, we'll be back, y'all. Wait, huh? Oh. That just looks nice. We have um, actress Vicky mm. Goggin, I think, known for her essential backless dresses. She sits at a piano at the Victor Forge looks on, I think. But look at that. This is amazing because I love the dress. That style is nice. Yeah. I mean, you see just a little bit of ass, but. Just enough, but not too much. That's a very good piano. Yeah, this is awesome. You guys. If there's a family bath or music. <laughs> Cause we family. Honey got pee pee. And I got pee pee. And I think I spilled, um, you see that how it was wet? I spilled drink on my, on my, um, on my this thing. But when I go outside, it's gonna be dry anyways. And I gotta pee. Oops. I forgot I had y'all in my hand. That's when they give y'all too many bottomless mimosas with champagne and beer and whatever the hell else. Mm -hmm. I know, but I said that's what happens when they give you the option of bottomless mimosas. Yep. Oh, I got to pee. I'll be back, y'all. That's the family restaurants. I mean, restaurant. family restaurants. Don't drink unless you're older than 21. Oh, uh, yeah. Disclaimer like a mug. What she just said two times, three times, folks. So she's over there, <laughs> and I'm over here. Um, ten, I ten seconds. Oh, 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 there it goes. All right. We got it going. Sometimes you got to... Then the fire will start. That's... That's my analogy. Yeah, we normally like to use wipes, but they only got regular toilet tissue here. That's what they should improve in the bathroom since they're so rich and they're so expensive. Give us some wipes. This bathroom looks worse. All right, she's done now. I'm about to grab my beer and drink it, and we're gonna walk to the car and talk to y'all when we see you when we talk to you. <laughs> I'm tempted to jump in and get my, um, you know, my Billy Jean, my Chris Brown, or, or Mariano, splash the shit around, but it's called a drug low key right here, so that would not be a good idea. Nope. Plus, you probably get arrested. I don't like that arrested part. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> talking both of them. Just call this Ray and Tangy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna find our car now. About to go on a drunk rant. Yes, listen, let me tell y'all something. Cause we in the car 
and I just dealt with a person being stupid that has a newer model, okay? Listen, when it comes to rules on the road, I have an older vehicle, okay? I own a 2002 vehicle, okay? So y'all new models that want to be flossing on everybody and, oh, I drive a 2021, blah, 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 whatever the fuck, okay? Listen, how about this? You fucking, I mean, you freaking follow the road, okay, of your elders, okay? And my car is a 2002. So you slow your 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018, whatever the hell, ass down, okay? And respect your elders, okay? Because I'm a 20, I mean, not a 20, yeah, a 2002, a 2002, okay? Goddamn vehicle, okay? Damn it. And I don't pay no notes, okay? And I own, okay? And you mother effers that drive them nice, fancy little cars and y'all do y'all little payments and stuff. Do you see how I get with the old voice? Y'all got nice cars and y'all got new cars, okay? And y'all need to stop messing with us old cars that can't giddy giddy up as fast as y'all and just let us be. My car has no problem getting in there. In my mind, when there's a new car trying to freaking jump in the way and cut me over, you trying to shit on my little car. Up. Yeah, cutting me off, which means I can't giddy it, giddy up as fast as you because you just rrrm, and cut me over. <laughs> cut me off. Yeah, cut me off. So <laughs> that's what I got to say about y'all new cars. And I don't care what nobody say, okay, because I am not trying to be nothing that I can't be, okay? And I don't like car notes because they mess up my spending comfortability, goddamn yeah, comfortability yeah, yeah. yeah they mess up me being comfortable right. i don't like car notes if i wanted to drive a new or car i can best believe go to the dealership yeah, and i can money. get a car best believe one of the best of the best with my goddamn credit okay and i will be able to get a little car to drive and have my little payments if i wanted to but no i choose not to and we don't want to we deal with our little but i ain't even named her I don't even think I named the damn car. I don't our even have a name. Our 2002 model. Our 2002 model. That's the name. Our 2002 model. And that's what we sticking with. Okay? For now. You cars on the road that's nice and pretty. Please be nice to us. Okay? We not trying to be in y'all way or nothing to that nature. And y'all look pretty and y'all look shiny and fancy and all that good stuff. And I'm, I'm proud of you for having that. Okay? But respect your elders. <laughs> When it comes to cars, That's the main even point. It's, yes, it's respect your elders. elders right. Even if elders. it is in a car and you may be older than me in age, if your car is younger than me, my car. I mean, yeah, if your car is younger than my car, please respect the car's age because the car is on the road, not you necessarily. The car is driving the road, so respect your elders. If you are freaking look at this man, he's awesome. This is a perfect example. If you are freaking, not yeah, not understanding, I had to swipe that. If you guys are younger on the road, look at the cars that's younger, you know, a little bit more, you know, than your car or whatever. And remember that they probably can't move as far as your car can move, okay? And be proud of your vehicle, but also be mindful of the elderly vehicles on the road say so calling us old yes no look at the car is old the car i'm talk. i'm speaking for my car my car can't speak for itself oh so you're speaking as oh okay I got i'm you. speaking as my car mm, so nice. that's pretty cool yeah exactly i'm speaking is that what, oh <laughs> don't fall oh my god don't fall lady but i'm speaking we always laughing when there's something <laughs> Because what I don't do is I don't show females. I don't show females in a weak moments. And she just fell. And I was going to show it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to even show what she looked like. But. Oh my gosh. No problem. Mm -hmm. But she. And it was somebody in front of us walking in front of the car saying something. And I'm telling him, no problem. We're not going to go. So he can go. But no, there is a girl. And I'm not going to even show her and her the girl that was with her i don't know but we ain't gonna do that but she just 
nigga, another one bites the dust. By the way, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Did we go against traffic or not? Nah, these niggas. Oh no, yeah, traffic. they went against traffic, not us. But um. We about to park this car because we didn't eat and we full and all that stuff, but we about to go do something for our little chill out hands real quick. Oh, so, um, oh, look at God. Yeah, no, that's, he was telling us, he was telling us that he, oh, had, he's telling us that he leaving. Oh, yeah, let me not show his, right yeah. He's showing us that he leaving. We let him go and he moved and we end up taking his spot. Look at God, because we was being good citizens and stuff, letting him um, go instead of just driving past and stuff. I was about trying to do this, but I don't even got no seatbelt on. Y'all don't judge me. Not I usually my have clothes. my seatbelt oh, on, but I don't. Oh, and honey messed his clothes up at the buffet, but we at the Mazar and we bought the um, shit out for our kids. So, um, He's so silly. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace. He gonna tell me I need a jacket. I don't need no jacket. Right? Inside the mall is hot. This was the same mall that last time it was hot when we went to the, um, the thing. You feel me? You feel me, lady? Y'all, I promise you, if you drink... My bad. <laughs> if you drink... If you drink champagne, champagne is way, but don't drink alcohol, y'all. Don't ever, don't drink alcohol. Just drink, if you want a little bit of something, drink champagne or something. Because I feel way better than I do when I drink alcohol. I ain't going to even lie. So, y'all, drink champagne. Don't drink alcohol because I ain't threw up, but I've been drunk. Okay, y'all, I was just editing that video, and I wanted to add in there, I freaking lied. Don't think that if you drink champagne, you won't get sick and you won't throw up because guess what? I threw up really, really, really bad and I don't ever want to drink again. So yeah, don't listen to what I just said. Y'all, I left the mask in the car. So honey gave me his jacket so he can go get my mask. It's cold outside. He told me to bring my jacket, but I'm like, I don't need no jacket. It ain't that cold. We going inside. <sighs> and I got to pee. Mm -hmm. It's so cold. Mm -hmm. It's so cold. Not only did he bring me a mask. Y'all see, I got my jacket. He just get the best husband of the year. <laughs> I was trying to tell him that I didn't care about how they feel about us and my um thing. See, look, we can get out. But I was telling him that um I paid for them damn oh no it's this way i pay for <laughs> we suck y'all i, I paid for bottom yeah he told me it was the wrong way to go but i told wait why am i we ain't inside no more i told him that i paid for them bottom bottomless mimosas so in in what is it called in um the beer and all of that stuff so if I wanna be flirtatious with my honey, then I deserve that because I pay for them drinks. Yep, our car's over here, all the way over there. But it doesn't matter because they was looking at me like I was crazy when I was in the inside. Oh, oops, he not gonna let me watch the inside by the cars because he don't want the cars to hit me. But I. Um, it's loud. We are trying to find our car. We ain't trying to find shit. We just walking to it. We get into our car. <laughs> you see how y'all, you see how he tried to do me? Ooh, sorry. Yeah, if y'all can see how I'm walking, Lord Jesus. But it's not my fault. Look, my, my jacket. You see that? That is dirty. I spilled drinks from the buffet drinks from the um we went to the abc stores inside of the mall only in vegas when you in the mall you can get um 
alcohol. Okay, wait. Sorry, guys. Another pause in the video. Listen, okay, maybe you won't get that sick if you just drink champagne. But what I did was I mixed champagne and then I had um, fireballs. So that's like whiskey and champagne. Don't do that. Which is clearly the fucking problem. Because I was supposed to be just having champagne. But I had a goddamn shot of... Um, shot of... Um, what did I have a shot of? A shot of... Hold on. Fireball, Wait, man. fireball. I had a shot of fireball. And... Yeah. What did it... I was about to say, do you guys watch YouTube? We didn't got like three, four new subscribers by me saying do you guys watch youtube because i didn't have a little too much to drink but i feel like them oops they had too much to drink what oh our car is right here <laughs> i see y'all in a minute i promise look Okay, if you're in Vegas, go to Planet 13 or I say Jardin because it's spelled J A R D I N, but it's really like Hardeen. So you can go to Hardeen <laughs> or you can go to Cure Leaf if you want a nice price half ounce or ounce i don't know about like um what do they call it grams or like eighths and stuff like that quarters um i'm not really sure what's like the best price or whatever for that but if you are in vegas and you want a half ounce well also i'm medical so i don't know and I also, um, if I'm in the house or whatever, you know, I smoke like hemp and stuff because with multifamily pr properties and stuff, you can't smoke um, marijuana. So, like, all I'm saying is if you want a good price for when you're smoking marijuana for half ounces or four ounces, go to, and you're in Vegas, go to Hardeen um cure leaf or um it used to be called mmj but i'm not sure what it's called now um reef is good too but if you want nice bud or whatever like flower and like good prices then go there that's all i'm gonna say because yeah but otherwise if you don't smoke marijuana i say smoke hemp don't smoke cigarettes I can't tell you what to smoke, but you know what I mean. Don't smoke hemp. Smoke like, I mean, don't smoke hemp. Don't smoke cigarettes, tobacco. Smoke hemp. Or whatever. If you're like indoors and you got to smoke or whatever. I don't know. Or you're like stressed out at home and you got to smoke and you want to smoke on your patio or whatever the hell. And you're not, you know, like smoke hemp is better than smoking tobacco that's all i can say but i'll be back y'all i'm a little tipsy so 
if you listen to me, you listen to me. If you don't, you don't. That's on you, goddammit. Shit, um, your body is your body. My body, my body. I was just trying to help you with a little bit of um, healthiness of your body, which really is not healthy anyways, because if we smoke, when we smoking. You feel me? But if you are smoking and you want to be a little bit more healthier than smoke him. I'm just talking to y'all because really I'm in the car by myself. Oh, look. I'm a little honey in. I was in the car by myself. Nigga, you was molasses slow. But now I'm honey in the car, so I don't really have to be. Hey, you know what? Hey, people out there, if a motherfucker open the door for you, right? Honestly, I normally just hold the door no matter who the fuck you is, woman, man, or child. Get your muscles up if you can't hold the door for yourself. But when I do hold the door completely and I say, have a nice day, don't look at me like I got shit on my face because now that means you ain't shit. And you're not going to get good karma, motherfucker. If I tell you to have a nice day and then I got to take it back, man, look, you had good energy your way and you just, you literally lost it on your own. Oh, and don't, I was just going to say, don't smoke out of freaking tobacco products, but listen, when your husband fail you, he 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 fails you. And I this, this is, the, is was, a tobacco product. No, 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 no. This is a tobacco product. Yeah, so when I say don't smoke out of tobacco products, I don't mean swishers. Promise y'all, I promise. We haven't even been smoking out of tobacco products, but I think it's because we out and about. And nobody. Thank you. Yeah. So we have no choice but to smoke with tobacco products. But otherwise, right, honey? Shit. Don't smoke, smoke with don't, tobacco products. It actually, yeah, when you smoking... If the, you care about your life insurance. Yes, that's it's the insurance thing. Like, um, So my thing about it is if you are a person who uses tobacco and when it's time for you to take your test... And you put test that you use in tobacco, they gonna up your insurance. Uh, if, if you're getting it through your job, and then there's other places, obviously. But uh, so that has been the thing that I've been sticking to. Um, I mean, it'll be fine because we don't really use to, we don't use anything else tobacco. We don't smoke At cigarettes all. or anything. It's literally these fucking wraps. If you smoke cigarettes, oh my god, sorry to cut you off, but if you smoke cigarettes, like my madre. And what I don't approve of, I can't roll it because I'm freaking. Okay, Listen, well, I'm just... if you, hi mommy, I know you're watching this because this whole video was for you, anyways. But if you are smoking tobacco products, I don't give a goddamn because when I was younger, I would break my mom's cigarettes in half and put them back in the packet so hopefully she wouldn't smoke them. But realistically, all she did was cuss me out and want to harm me because she knew that it was me that did it. And he's breaking open stuff. But anyways, if you are, smoke cigarettes, don't do it. Listen, you motherfucker right here. You, 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 and you, okay? Don't smoke cigarettes. Take it out of your goddamn mouth. And don't fucking smoke cigarettes. I mean, don't freaking smoke cigarettes. You get a god darn CBD, hemp, whatever you got to do. And that ain't even honestly good if you're still smoking in tobacco products. So, don't freaking smoke cigarettes. It's not good. And mom, you know you're watching this. Don't you smoke tobacco products because it's not good for you. Y'all should stop. But who am I? I ain't going to judge you, I promise. I was just saying. She's just trying to help being health-wise. She ain't just, really just yeah. trying. She ain't judging you because at the end of the day, we are people and we do what we do. So... Ain't nobody here to judge. Yeah, I'm just the help, the um. If you're not listening to your inner whatever, I'm that extra whatever inner whatever telling you don't do that and don't um smoke cigarettes because when I be drinking a little bit sometimes you get to smoking cigarettes and stuff and it's not good for you. If you smoke cigarettes regularly and you ain't just smoking cigarettes because you're drinking, you really fucked up. I mean, not really, fucked up, but I mean, you really you like putting yourself in harm's you way putting yourself in harm's way. So don't smoke cigarettes i know it helps but don't smoke cigarettes okay i promise you don't smoke cigarettes it's not good for you so um yeah i don't know i probably had too many drinks for today which clearly is not the smartest thing to do so if you drink a lot too thing, don't yeah. drink a lot it's not the worst thing but still it's not the greatest thing i don't want you watching this video like oh my gosh she effed up she's drunk woo -woo -woo -woo. oh crap see like that 
Not me, Coke, get me a drink. No, don't do that. Okay. It's not the best thing in the world, okay? But listen, nah, it happens. Nah, she's having fun, though. Now don't get yeah, it Yeah, I'm having a great time. It happens, but I'm not telling you to go kumbaya and go do that, okay? Yeah, yeah. Get a drink ain't no one guarantee you have fun. It's all about the environment. and the Yeah, you got to make sure you with safe people and people that love you. See me? I could drink because I'm right here you with, listen. Oops, I'm on the way. <laughs> I mean, on the stuff. So, <laughs> so listen, I could be I probably <laughs> ah, bye, y'all. <laughs> Hello. Hello, people. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mommy. We appreciate you, and it was totally yummy and a good freaking time. And I wanted to make sure that I said goodnight before we ended the whole vloggy vlog so honey do you want to say anything food was good had some laughs this one right here oh man i won't tell you the secret <laughs> nah but no till next time uh don't forget to like comment subscribe press that um post notification bell mm -hmm. so every time we drop a video you guys are notified right and uh y'all have a good one happy holidays love your family love the people you love oh yeah good night happy holidays you guys and mommy thanks again we appreciate you and it was totally a good time and thank you because we definitely need it until next time.